Okay, free speech pop quiz. Can the government throw Dear Abby in jail or ban Dr. Phil from TV just for giving advice? If you said no, congrats. You understand the First Amendment. But if you said yes, then you might be the Kentucky Attorney General. Here's the deal. John Rosemond is a North Carolina family psychologist, the author of 18 books. And since 1976, he has written a popular advice column on parenting that is now syndicated in over 200 newspapers. Okay, cue sinister music. In May 2013, the Kentucky Attorney General sent John a letter ordering him to stop publishing his column in Kentucky or face fines and even jail. So what did John write in the world's freest press that got him censored? Brace yourselves. John told some parents to take away their slacker son's cell phone till he shapes up. John also truthfully called himself a family psychologist in the tagline of his column. So what's going on here? How can Kentucky possibly believe it can censor a newspaper column? The problem is government licensing boards. They're the new censors. They don't believe the First Amendment applies to them. And they're going after people just like John all across the country. In John's case, the Kentucky Attorney General is doing the dirty work of the State Psychologist Board. The board thinks that John's advice column is the unlicensed practice of psychology because he answers personal questions from readers. Licensing boards don't think that one-on-one -on -one advice is speech. They think it's conduct, like filling cavities or installing pipes. Because the government doesn't think that advice is speech, it's willing to do something absolutely crazy, like ignore the First Amendment and ban a nationally syndicated newspaper column. What's next, Kentucky? Hard labor for Dr. Oz? Treating advice like it isn't speech has drastic implications. Let me demonstrate with a beautiful baby. Sometimes he's fussy at night. Hmm. Well, I'm a dad, and it sounds to me like he's a gassy little guy. You should try some gripe water and fennel, and then just pump his chubby little legs like he's riding a bicycle. Okay, thanks. You bet. Happy to help. You just witnessed a crime. Sound far-fetched? In 2012, the North Carolina Nutritionist Board came down on caveman blogger Steve Cooksey for helping people follow the paleo diet over the internet. Censoring advice is unconstitutional because advice is speech protected by the First Amendment. That's why John and the Institute for Justice have gone to federal court to give Kentucky a little piece of advice. Americans don't tolerate censorship.